everyone, my name is Wraith and I'm from Science Centre Singapore. You're watching a special episode of Science One! Earth Day is on 22nd April and what better way to celebrate Earth Day than to take a walk at Science Centre's very own Eco Garden. Check out our vegetable bits. We have chilies, water spinach, eggplants and bitter gourds. Here are some herbs as well, such as lemon balm, sawtooth coriander, pandan, and lemongrass. And not forgetting our fruit trees, mangoes, bananas, star fruits, and even passion fruits. I'll step right up and take a scenic view from our treehouse. But wait, what's that smell? Let's trace it. There it is. Do you know what it is? Fertilizers. Fertilizers are chemicals added to the soil to make the plant more fertile. It also provides nutrients for the plant to grow well. Speaking of fertilizers, did you know you can make use of food waste to make compost, which is an alternative to fertilizers? Why is this important? Well, Singapore generated a whopping 744 tonnes of food waste in 2019. That's 744 million kilograms, equivalent to 51,000 double-decker buses. The top food that gets thrown out are carbohydrates like rice, noodles and bread. Fruits and vegetables too. How can we better utilise food wastage? That's right, composting is one way to put food scraps to better use. So what is compost? Composting is the aerobic decomposition of organic materials by microorganisms. It transforms raw materials like food scraps into nutrient-rich, earthy-smelling soil conditioner called compost. So are you ready to make your very own compost? Let's go! In traditional composting, we need a 50-50 ratio of green to brown items. Green items are rich in nitrogen, while brown items are rich in carbon. Here's a list of things that's great for composting. Next, we need a container to hold your compost and not forgetting water. But do note, there are also things that should not be composed. Here's what we have for our DIY compost. Eggshells, orange peels, vegetables, egg carton, dried leaves, twigs and cardboard. If the pieces are too big, do chop them up or shred them. First, add the brown and green materials in alternate layers. Now, we must make the compost moist, so add a few drops of water. Next, place the container in a shady or open area. And remember to give your compost a good mix daily for aeration. And that's how you make science come alive. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed our video today, do like and share with your family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to be the first to watch our new videos. Let's go green and do our part in restoring our beautiful planet. Wish you a very happy Earth Day. Bye-bye!